Hello and welcome again. This is this third video of a sequence of random numbers in Java. So in the last video we discussed about uh, uh, how to use the Java class random to generate random uh, uh, numbers or bytes or booleans. Uh, so what we had here is you declare first, to remember that you declare first the object which is this is the name of the object and you declare it with this expression right here. And so once the object is created you can do generate integer, longs, floats, booleans, and bytes. And so that was, that's what we did last time. So, uh, what, how does the work, how does the random uh, generator here works? Actually, this works with a linear congruential generator, the one that we saw uh, earlier. So basically what it does is, uh, this, this part here will use a congruential generator. Remember what that is, is you're gonna start with a seed, uh, which is, is just um, a number and then you generate the sequence uh, with this formula taking uh, multiplying but by a uh, integer times the xn the previous element in the sequence plus uh, the increment b and then you mod it by some m and that's how you produce the next number in the sequence java implemented this in the following one so in java what happens is here this number a that you see over here that number is this number that you see right there. So that's the number A. The increment in that case, and this case in Java, will be 11, and the mod here, the number you divide by, is 2 to the 48. So that's how you create those uh, random things in Java. Now the seed, if you wonder where did that seed come from, because when we call the methods on the object, we didn't specify any seed, you just call the method. Uh, what happens if, if you don't say what the seed is, what Java is going to do, Java is going to uh, collect entropy, what we call entropy, from the computer to create a seed from the computer. So basically what it does is, the seed is, is taken, as I said, from entropy of the computer. Usually what it does is the time of the computer. Some other things are also could be entropy from the computer, for example, name of files, uh, uh, noise from the computer or things like that that the uh, Java application has available through the operating system. So the operating system will sometimes provide those kind of entropy for the seed to be generated in Java. So Java will take that. So Java in some cases will just use the system that nano time which is the nano time that has passed between the, when you started the computer and the time you run it. You run this this code here. So basically, what but what I mean by that is, if you don't say what the seed is, just Java will figure it out, what it is. We'll take it from the computer, and that's why uh, every time is different because you know this is a deterministic here. So it depends on the seed. So the seed is the important part here because if if the seed is always the same, then you always gonna generate exactly the same sequence. But so Java, what's it gonna do is gonna collect that entropy from the computer, and that's why you generate a different sequence every time you run it. Now that's that's how the, the the seed is there. Now sometimes for some reasons and some very important reasons maybe you can you want to set the set the seed to be something. So you want to if I scroll up here you wanna you wanna say okay I'm gonna get my random numbers but I'm gonna specify what the seed is for this uh, for this generation. So in Java, you can do that. You can tell Java, okay, I'm, I'm gonna um, get some random sequence of numbers or booleans or charts or whatever, but I wanna specify my seed. So the seed here, the way you do it in Java, let me scroll down here a little bit. So you can set your own seed by using this, this method. So you say set seed and then parentheses, and in here you put uh, a variable of type long, and that's how you set your seed. Uh, for that particular, um, for whatever object you are doing. So what is my object here? The one in our example, uh, it was my random, right? So if I have my object here, which is my random, my random, if I want that to have a seed, then I said my random that set seed, and I put some number there, whatever I. I prefer that's gonna be this the my seed there, so I can say for example any 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 number of type long will do. So for example, I don't know, say let's say ten for example. 
So when that is done, then whenever I run uh, the command, for example, my random that next integer, if I write this down, my random that next next integer. Is, so every time I run the program, it's going to produce exactly the same result, exactly the same, because I set my seed already. So that sequence that uh, is created is just going to be exactly the same every single time because of the seed you set your seed there to be a specific number. And again, as I said, you sometimes you want to do that. Sometimes you want to have a specific seed. So for example, when you want to generate, let's say, you want to generate a sequence of pseudo random numbers with a password, then you want the password sort of like be your seed for that sequence. So different password will create different seeds. That, that's basically more or less the idea here. So you want to generate a, a random sequence of numbers but with a specific seed. And remember, if you go back all the way with these stream ciphers, remember, for stream ciphers, what you do is you have to create a pseudo random uh, sequence of zeros and ones with the key. So basically, more or less, that's what happens. You, you said the seed for that sequence will be your password or the key, and then the random singles will, will be generated from that, from that key. So that's basically what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you this in the Eclipse application that uh, show you that every single time I run this command here, if I set my seed, then the number is not going to change at all. So I'll show you that in the Eclipse application. So I'm here in Eclipse, and as you can see, I had a very simple uh, uh, setup that I had before. I had my variable, my random, which is an, a random object of the class random. And if, uh, if I print out... Uh, a random integer, then it will change every time I run the program. So as I, as you saw earlier, but what happens here is if you want uh, to set uh, a seed, then then what you need to do is this. So let me let me copy this in here. So I have, you, first of all, you have to write down the name of your of your um, object, which is my random, and then you set the seed. So I'm gonna say set. Uh, seed which is a long so i said in the in the video it was 10 so let's do 10 here and so that's the set that's set up so i save it and i run it so a random number will come up from there so in this case it would be that one it's a negative integer uh if i didn't set up the seed then the number will change but if you can see again if i run it it's exactly the same number every single time I run the program and that's the idea. The idea of setting the seed is that every time it runs, then I'll have exactly the same the same number. Now that doesn't mean that every time I put this down is gonna give me a diff uh, same number. So if I say, for example, let's print out, say for example, three of them there. Uh, it's gonna give me different numbers though. In this case, so let me say, I forgot to save it and then run it. And so this is the sequence. So the first one is the one that I generated first, and then the second one it goes after that. That's what next int means. So the next integer after this one. But it doesn't matter how times I run it, then it's gonna be exactly the same sequence. Exactly the same every time I run it. So the set seed method is uh, is to set the seed for the random number generator. Uh, of course, you can use this for next long, next float, next boolean next bytes and it will generate exactly the same thing over and over again and as I mentioned earlier the the idea with this is that you sometimes you want to do this sometimes you want to set the seed so every time you generate that random pseudo random sequences exactly the same every time you put a seed in it so that's exactly what I that's all I actually have to say about uh, this this random um, setting the seed for the random object so I'll see you back in a little bit